This playthrough is rated T for teen. On the twelfth day of Christmas, Cthulhu gave to me twelve insane little boys. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Welcome back here with another episode of Cthulhu Saves Christmas. In the last episode, we started a journey, and apparently the evil, evil people of Christmas, or bad Christmas, or whatever, decided to give Cthulhu a present, which took all his powers, so now we can't just... We can't just take over the world. We have to uh, save Santa to be able to get our power back and uh, and get the power to take over the world. So, there we got some new enemies here. We got Disarming Smile. We also got a new uh, uh, character in Baba Yaga, the, the Cluck Queen herself. So, uh, let's see. Uh, no one knows why it's so happy. Anyway, we got uh, Earth Damage, so we can probably wait till we boost up a bit. So, I'm sure it's uh, poison. Get a little free damage here. Yeah, Bobby Gaga has now has the 0% uh, chicken power because that's how she boosts up her spells is via the power of chicken. Yeah, she also has her damage. Looks like it takes her four rounds to uh, beef up, so no point in uh, waiting on her. It'll take too long anyway, so. Let's see, you got Fighting Winds, Heal Chicken Power, Reuse, Poison Chicken, Physical Damage with Mortar Combat, Coop Chicken, Icicle, and Lightning. There you go. Oh yeah, off screen I uh, grinded out all the battles to get to this experience point, so. Alright, looks like this is a mini dungeon. I'll probably end up fighting everything anyway, but if I get to the boss before then, so. Oh right, I forgot to equip my new stuff. Since we got, since we did those uh, relate relationships, so we got the fencing sword, which is quite a bit better. As you can see, more power, ar, 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 speed, healing, and ailment, and it has disarming uh, ability. So, raggy tunic. Oh yeah, let's see what the fencing sword says. Fence by a fencer near a fence. And uh, fur tunic. Don't ask what kind of fur, and it gives me ten more HP and my. Uh, uh, stats go up a bit as you can see there on the bottom a sword fire uh, Wind dark ice and earth go up in terms of protection Then the plant tentacle turns into the growing tentacle uh, Generates HP each turn quickly heals itself when hurt so it gives us a bit of a speed and healing buff or permanency uh, I think for her all I got her was the snow robe. Yeah made from actual snow <laughs> made from real blue blood and then Bobby, you guys, a pestle, crushes ingredients and enemies, plain dress, has a sweet spirit, and plain egg. Baba is you, chicken is win. What? Anyway. I guess it's the Yakash smeared off type of humor. Chicken is you! Ah! You got a poison mist. That inflicts poison on enemies, so it's a uh, usable item. Alright, got a new enemy here. Swordy! When sword du uh, when dual wielding isn't enough, they're weak to uh, the sword and poison. Uh, poison? So. Looks like they just fling a bunch of swords at us. Yeah, I probably could just attack them. Alright, let's see. Oh yeah, we got a new uh, uh, merge ability, or unite ability with uh, Bobby Gaga. We got Chikulu, Chik uh, which says dark damage and chicken. Yeah. 20% charge, but anyway. Yeah, I guess we'll do your work too. Either way. Yeah, it looks like we're kind of already super powerful for this part, so we don't really have to do much. Okay, not really. Huh. Alright, we'll unite. Her unite with uh, Bobby got is Eggnog. Temporary damage and chicken up. 20% charge. Yeah, we're. A lot of these guys are probably going to be pretty easy to fight, so. Yeah, this is uh, one of Santa's workshop or old workshop. I think it's just his current workshop. All right, we got a new enemy here, Ball Ball. Not to be confused with Ball Ball Ball, Ball Ball Ball, ball. or Ball from uh, was it Disgaea? Anyways, weak to looks like wind, poison, uh, and stun. Just tentacle. Yeah, a lot of these fights, I could probably just. Uh, uh, spam the attack button, really. Oh, these guys have quite a bit of HP. There we go. 
Yeah, she doesn't have a ton of... Let's see what Eggnog does. Okay, buffs us up. trying to grab all the any treasure chests we've got so if I end up fighting everything so now we're starting to get uh, parties that are mixed up now that tends to happen like in this game like in the beginning it's usually isolated units and then they start kind of mixing up kind of like a persona and stuff like that but for the most part I don't think I have to worry too much about uh, uh do I have the buff one no okay Anyway, gains the levels. I'm level 10 now. Looks like minor stat buffs. Uh, oh, nothing over here. All right. Probably end up, we'll end up fighting everything on the map without even trying. It's a habit of mine. I've got to, like, explore every little nook and cranny. There it is. You got antidote. This will cure eight lens for one ally. Okay. Let's see what this pathway takes us. So we've got two pathways. Actually, uh, the only thing I've done for this game is I lightly play tested it just to get the gist of like how the game plays and uh, and how it works. But I haven't actually beaten the game before. I beat uh, Save Saves the World like a long time ago. But anyway, we got Stone Pestle. This weapon is for Baba boosts her physical damage. So it's uh, oops, it's equipped here. It's surprisingly heavy. It does the physical damage for 20% more. So do I need to mess with any of my abilities? I mean, I always like having tentacles. Oh, we got the a new ability, Void, which is 100% dark damage to all. Huh. But Dark Blast does guarantee insanity, so that might be one to keep on. What about her? Let's see, Freeze and Cleanse. I mean, it's always good to have regen. And being able to stun always and heal is always good. Let's see what her. That's ice damage and stun. Possible stun. Make your cures may recharge one ability. I don't know if freeze might be a, might not be a bad substitute for her, since I'm a little bit more powerful than most of these things, and we haven't used her stuff enough to really warrant uh, swapping her out. So yeah, for the most part, the uh, there's one game I still need to play of them. I've gotten the for Z Boy games. Uh, it was a Sukoden ish type of game where they have like a bunch of different characters you can recruit. I started playing it, but for some reason I couldn't get into it as much. I'll have to try it again after this game because I, I forgot how pretty solid their gameplay designs are and everything. It's just, I don't know, the, I think it was either the story or the character didn't really didn't really set with me or something like that because they were they sp sponsored it as being a Sukoden-ish type game. And that's I think I went in with that mentality. Anyway, we got Hot Brew here. Str get stronger with cornered. That's 352 HP, weak to ice and, uh, and rage, but we don't have any rage, so. Let's uh, make it insane. Yeah, every, oh, I got, I forgot to show off that every character in the game has a unique insane animation, like they act differently when they're insane. So, I don't have anything that enrages or anything like that, so. All right, let's see. Yeah, nothing really, yeah, just basically back. All right, come on, ladies. You're taking. You're so slow. Look at that. Yeah, the, the I would say the music's good. I wouldn't say it's super catchy though. There's just something about it where it's just it, it misses it misses the mark with being a super catchy style of game. But uh, it, it's almost there if that makes sense. I just, just like doing all attacks just to. Let's see. Oh, we got Flurry. Hey, I probably should hit the ball ball thing just because of how strong it is. Maybe I should switch to uh, keyboard and mouse. Maybe that'd make it faster or something like that. Let's see. Yeah, shall avoid. Why not? Actually, it's better to get rid of the characters I can't get rid of. So. That way, less damage. 
Good thing the sword attack's always common, so I don't have to worry about mess with that, so. I mean, I'm not trying to knock the music of this game. I'm just saying it's one of those things where you know you like a soundtrack, but you know that there's probably something missing of it. Like, uh, uh, like it, it doesn't quite hit uh, catchy status. It gets close, but not quite there. I don't know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm not presenting this properly or something like that. It's always hard to say. I really shouldn't say anything. If I don't have a problem with it, I probably really shouldn't say anything about it, so. That did a decent amount of damage. Probably because I used it up creep for uh, super mode or whatever. Smack smack a root. Should probably save it before we fight, get to the boss of this place. Here or there, just fight all the enemies. I wasn't actually trying to do it, but anyway, got a new enemy here. Cyber Elf. Feels like it should be in a different game. Yeah, I'd say so. Maybe in Z Boy's other game. Uh, I forgot what the name of the game was. <laughs> did that? Did that game come out before this one? I think. Yeah, it's been forever. I actually, I actually did the Kickstarter for that one, so. Anyway, it was one of those things where it was just enough to get the uh, get the game itself, not like put my name in the credits or anything like that. I don't do the Kickstarter stuff anymore or, or back games just because, I don't know. One, I just don't have a ton of money to really spend anymore. And two, it's, it's more of a crapshoot. I actually got pretty lucky. I think only, I think I talked about this before, but I think there was, I think out of all the games I donated for, I think, let's see, one's still being worked on technically, two's being polished. And that was a long time ago, by the way. It was like 2017 when I did all this or something crazy like that. Uh, that was all I got one. Should we heal up? At least we can start it. Finish off, might as well. Oh, nice. Uh, let's see, one. One guy I donated, unfortunately, I, I donated quite a bit of money to. It was like over $100. He ended up not finishing the game, abandoning it, and then using it towards like a mobile app game, from what I understand. Uh, I don't remember the name of the game, before, the, the mobile game. The reason I put money to it, because, uh, you know, the guy said, oh, we'll get Umatsu on the music, and then it'll be from the guys who made Final Fantasy. Uh, it was like Crimson something. It was like, it said it would get Matsu on the music and get some like people who worked on Fall Fantasy and stuff like that. Uh, Tinker Dress, this armor is probably increases our proficiency with items. Even though we haven't really been using items, but okay. Uh, item power plus 50% for the girl who loves gadgets. Um, and then I forgot what the mobile game was he, he made. Uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's play one. Get that little bit of damage over. Yeah, uh, I remember reading about it later because I was wondering what happened with that game. I was like, oh, did anything happen with that? And, you know, with Kickstarter, there was nothing you could really do. If the person didn't make the game or they abandoned it, there wasn't really much you could really, you know, uh, fight on that. You know what I mean? So, so it's just kind of a crapshoot, really. That's why I don't do it anymore because, you know, I just, like I said, I got lucky. Only like a handful of projects never got made. But I said one's still being worked on, so I'm not sure on that one. And I still get letters from the guy saying he's still working on it, so I'm shrugging my shoulders. I might call it a bus, but I, I think he's generally working on it. It's one of those guys that is a single person doing it. Anyway, we got Terrify, Stun, uh, Guarantee Stun, and Insanity. Nice. No damage, though, but because with at least the dark, the dark attack, you get insane anyway. You just don't stun. Anyway, uh, she gets the break ability and vulnerability unlocks, so that would be good. That would be good. Uh, we only got one more battle and then we're over with this, so alright. Like I guess I ended up fighting everything. Yeah, if it was poison, I'd have to go with poison first, but yeah, let's show off different abilities. Poison egg. They said they hurt themselves when they. Oh no, that was for poison, never mind. That 
I tend to do this a lot sometimes. I'll just resort to the, like the same spell over and over and over again. Just because it's faster to just do that. I should do a savior pretty soon just because of I. Yeah, most of these games are pretty straightforward. They're basically easy man RPGs, which is fine. So, if you wanted anything more complicated out of this game, then this isn't this isn't the game for you. All right, let's go ahead and save it because we're already at the end of this section. So, and unfortunately, we only get four saves in this game. So, oh well. All right, there's the twelve angry lads. You'll add. Santa has abandoned you all. If you want any toys, you're going to have to bow to us, y'all. Are they Southern? You don't get any points for rhyming all with y'all. With all y'all. You rat, Santa has abandoned us. He's been kidnapped. No, I'm Dragon. Rat is over there. Huh? Hi there. <laughs> it sounded like, uh, was it the Duke? Duke, of, or the, uh, uh, oh, the, oh, I forgot the, he's from, uh, Simpsons way back in the early days. He was like a mascot for like the power plane or whatever. Hi there! Uh, well, seeing out of the picture, we decided it was time to go global. What's more global than China? Oh god. Our Icelandic names were so hard to pronounce for the rest of the world, but everyone knows the animals of the Chinese zodiac. Wait, so that means that was his name Chicken? I thought it was Rooster. Oh yeah, exactly. Rooster, actually. Rooster Cogbert? Chicken would be better. Well, but except the Rooster is a male chicken, so. Call yourselves whatever you want. Release the jolly old man to us or perish. There's 12 of us, only three of you. You're the only ones who are going to do the perishing. Actually, the game engine only allows for five endings at a time. Seven of you are going to have to w sit... Oh, sorry. Actually, the game's engine only allows for five enemies at a time. Seven of you are going to have to sit this one out. Now, fair. And the Yule Cat gets a spot on the roster, so technically only four of the Yule Lads get to fight. Four of you and a cat versus one of me? I like those odds. Don't forget about us. All right, it's boss time against the seven Yule lads, technically. Man, we got Meat Thief. Uh, let's see, Meat Thief steals meat, but is actually a strict vegetarian. He's got 71 HP, weak to poison, disarming, uh, stun, and a rage. And we've got, uh, oops, come on, there we go. Liquor Lad, licks everything you see. Yes, even that, ew. Uh, I like, just like the little animations on them. No, he's sticking out his tongue ready to lick you. Uh, he's weak to fire, poison, and enrage. Got a door slammer. Basically every kid ever. Yeah. He's weak to stun and uh, disarm. We got sniffer. Abhors B.O. Uh, kind of, this kind of reminds me of uh, King's Quest VI, actually. Man, I gotta play that game again. Uh, and on screen. Or uh, recording it. Anyway. Uh, he's got 313 HP. He's weak to dark and uh, enrage. And then we got Yule Cat. Oh, the Yule Tide Carol. La 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 la. Anyway, Yule Cat, 453 HP, weak to physicals, uh, poison, and uh, confuse, or uh, uh, sun. Uh, so much bad luck. Okay, well, anyway. Let's see. I really don't have much of anything against her. I was hoping we'd have uh, poison. Right, I guess let's do physicals, I guess. Okay, who's weak to poison? Uh, Yule Cat, you've got the most. Actually, you don't have the most HP. Huh. Uh, let's hit Meat Thief since he's got a lot of HP. Uh, and yeah, she got stun. Yeah, you're too early for that. Hey, what are we to fire? One person. Yeah, that's better than nothing. Should do insane on someone and just do a ton of damage. Oh, it was good. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, gotta remember, everyone's got an insane, insane look. It's just uh, you know. I mean, I'll try to show that stuff off, but I can't guarantee it. And it's not a higher priority for me, so. Yeah, I'm sure we'll start rejecting people and stuff like that. With my levels and everything, this, these guys aren't really that tough. Maybe I should sit, switch it to. Uh, um, I might defend just to get, uh, just so I can sort of the insane ability off again. Let's see. Yeah, 
Yeah, not, they're not really putting up much of a challenge for me, so. Uh, let's show off Insane for this guy. <laughs> uh, I like that. I like just like the low animation detail, so it's always a big fan of that. Uh, oh, we got stun it. I don't like stun two of them, right? Because they're not all weak to stun. Ouch. Uh, okay. Now it's just insane, another guy. I <laughs> uh, just love the creepiness of it all. Anyone weak to win? Not really. Oh, yeah, insane changes their weaknesses, too, so. Finish all that Yule Cat. Oh, finally got poison, but now it's not really that big of a deal anymore, so. Now it's good anyway. Let's finish you off if we can. That close. He's poisoned, so when he goes again, he'll, he'll guarantee he die. Because you get poisoned while you do the ability, so. Bye. Yeah, he was uh, he was healing them every time. So let me go ahead and uh, defend again just to uh, get insane back up again. Love the little details on those. Nice. Yeah, I probably should have uh, found whether to get our abilities back. Yeah, I guess I have to. Well, let's see. Yeah, I have to defend with her too. Stunned already. Yeah, really not a challenging fight it overall. Yeah, I want to try to do one more. Uh, that was overkill. Let me defend one more time just to show off the. Uh, the stu uh, insane ability. Oh, that might kill him though. Nate. You, you can see it for just a second that his insane look. Yeah. Oh, we gained quite a few levels. All right, let's see. Yeah, two levels, man. No new abilities. Uh, we learned Mistletoe from Crystal, 100% to Charm, and nothing from Bobby. We beat the boss. Can't, can't we have a rematch with the other seven Yule Lads? No, that would be needlessly repetitive. Chestnuts. Now that we've defeated you, thanks to a game engine limitation, you must tell us where Santa is. He's not here, I can tell you that much. How ridiculous would it be for us to hide Santa's own workshop? No, you're gonna have to face the other six. I mean, five members of the Christmas League of Evil first. Give us the leftover workshop toys. We smashed them all to bits. Get out! Faced with the Red Hot Fury, Bobby Yaga, the Yule Lads flee the premises. Cthulhu, Crystal, and Baba all head back to town, discouraged but not defeated, and a new day dawns. It is now Christmas Eve the 8th. Good morning, boss. Cthulhu opens his eyes, or sorry, Cthulhu opens his eyes. This time he is not being smothered with a pillow. Can I ask you something, boss? It's early in the morning? No. But it's about you. I'm listening. How did you get your own game? Two, actually. There's also Cthulhu Saves the World. I thought there was technically a third game somewhere, like it was like a, a joke mini game or something like that. Anyway. I've been trying to ditch develop, uh, pitch developers of Bobby Yaga's poultry tycoon, but no one's green like it. I think a game about Bobby Yaga would be interesting, like playing as Bobby Yaga, or at least her as a villain. But no one's done. Well, I think people have done it, but usually she's a, 
she usually she's shown as being a hag in most RPGs, kind of like in Baldur's Gate or stuff like that. But a story about Bobby Gaga specifically, I think there are some horror games based off her. But I, I'm not 100% familiar. No wonder that's a terrible name for a video game. Just look at Cthulhu Saves Christmas. Cthulhu is me, and it's so it's awesome. Everybody likes saving things. So Christmas, ka-ching. So it's all just one big money, a uh, big money grab where you pick popular words and string them together. Hey, it works for Japan, right? Not quite. You still need a great elevator pitch. Nobody wants to tag you chickens, but a dating sim where everyone's a rooster or a chicken that would sell. <sighs> yeah, probably. There's one about pigeons, so why not? That's true, by the way. If you could, uh, and you can use the same portraits for all of the chickens and save money on asset production. Nobody would even notice. I bet it's making fun of that game. I would not be surprised. Uh, the bright people would notice. A catchy name, a non-existent budget, and a bizarre concept are your tickets to video game superstar. But I want my video game to be good. Sorry, I wasn't listening. My agent just landed me a starring role in the new pachinko game. <laughs> I'll be good now, plus. Good talk. I think it was uh, LaSalle from Cosmic Star Hero, 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 Heroin. That's it. That's the game I was thinking of earlier. That's the RPG one where it has like a, it's supposed to have a Sukkotan-ish type feel where you can get like a bunch of people on your team, but I think it's like 20 or something like that. Uh, that's the game I haven't finished yet. So it did come out before this. Is it town? Maybe she could talk for some pointers. Except she only got one game and I don't remember it selling super well, but I could be wrong. That's it for today. This voice from beyond demands you go to sleep. It's now Christmas Eve the night. All right, so now we just have to figure out again where we should go on our on our journey here. So, uh, let's see. So we could get the shield wand. We could get an eggy dress for Bobby if we go meet her. Now, let's see, enchanted to So I'm trying to remember what, what equipment I've got. I don't think I have, let's see, that's a better weapon for her. Warm soup. I bet that's an, uh, that's an item. Clean wand. Let's see. She has that snow wand that gives her more ability. I'm trying to remember what her fine, what her uh, uh, accessory is. Is that a tunic? Uh, I'm trying to remember. Okay, well we'll go to the post office to see about this tunic thing. Oh wait, what else do we got? Okay, got the clean one. Okay, anyway, let's go get that chance to. Cthulhu decides to go to the post office. It's very busy. Welcome to the post office. How can I help you? Are you hiring? Of course. Christmas time is always our busiest time, so we can for part-timers. So what made you want to apply at the post office? I've always loved mail. Reading mail, moving mail, stealing mail. I mean, stealing mail. Me too. I'm quite the mailophile. Always have been. I think you'll be a welcome addition to the team. Cthulhu has been hired by the post office. Now, just stop by whenever you got some free time, and we'll be sure to put your talents to good work. Here you go. Don't forget to wear the official uniform. Cthulhu got an enchanted tunic. This armor of Cthulhu gives him the unstoppable buff at the start of combat. It's now Christmas Eve the 10th. Okay, so it was for him. Let's see. We could go to the post office again and get a bomb. Uh, maybe get a different item for... Here's a shield one that probably gives her buff. Uh, let's get her an outfit, so let's go to Bobby. Cthulhu decides to spend some time with Bobby Yaga. Hey, boss, I want to show you something. Bobby leads Cthulhu to a small hut on the outskirts of town. Ta da! It's my house! Isn't it cool? It's just a hut. Now it's just a hut, but I've been working on it hard on it and it won't stay in that place forever. What do you have in mind? I'm going to turn it into the world's first, very first living chicken hut. So it's a hut that also clocks at you? That's weird. No, it's not for chickens. The hut itself will be for a chicken. Yeah, for those who don't know the uh, Bobby Yaga myth, though, she w uh, she lives in a hut with chicken legs. So, them Russians, baby. But why? Who would possibly want that? Who wouldn't? All the loins and comfort of the chicken and the long legs of a chicken all in the comfort of your own home. Just imagine it, boss. You wake up in the morning and your house is already laid an egg and made you breakfast. Ugh. And what's the mental travel? Just say the word in your house and it'll stand up and walk you there. I'm going to make a fortune selling these things. There's only one problem. I can think of a lot of problems, but which one do you have in mind? I can only come over here hut now. All my attempts to turn it into a chicken hut have to fail. That's where you come in. With your powers, we can crack this egg. What do you say? 
Using a chicken brain into a hut is such a bad idea that I can't help but want to participate. I'm in. Kiri, did you hear about the clock clock? We're going to make a chicken hug friend for you. Clock! After their discussion, Baba decides to clean up around the hut and discovers a useful piece of equipment hidden in the mess. Cthulhu got an eggy dress. This armor for Baba gives her a bonus chicken power at the start of combat. It's now Christmas Eve, the 11th. Alright, let's see. We give her another weapon. She's not really supposed to be a physical fighter anyway, so that, that 20% for a physical attack doesn't really... Maybe she should get another wand for a... Uh... Yeah, let's get her a feather pestle. So let's get these simply. So we're going to spend time with cultists, huh? Cthulhu decides to go to the assembly hall, where meeting is already in progress. Welcome, everyone, to the session of the Cultist Anonymous. I'm your group leader, Rose Thalen. Hi, Rose. Oh, she's a woman. Uh, remember, this is the best place free for Blaine, etc. If you feel comfortable sharing, that's great. If you don't, that's okay, too. What kind of cultist are you? The important thing is that you move at your own pace. Sounds like more like, uh, sounds more like college. Uh, first order of business, do we have any new members? All eyes turns towards Cthulhu. Yes, it is I, the great Cthulhu. Bow down and worship me. Hi, Cthulhu. Glad to have you here, Cthulhu. Now I think I see a new, another new face over there. Hi, Rose. My name is Bob, and I've been cult free for almost a year now. Hi, Bob. That's wonderful to hear, Bob. I know everyone says that first year is the hottest, but that's misleading. Every year is the hottest. I'm glad that you've chosen to come to our little organization. Everyone's family here. Sounds like a rec center kind of situation. Wait a second, did no one hear me? I'm Cthulhu! Hi, Cthulhu. That's it? Normally when I announce myself, people cower in fear, lose their minds, and become my abject slaves. That's not really our purpose here, Cthulhu. This is a safe place for ex-cultists to gather together through normal, unique 12-step program. Return to normality. I don't understand. You don't have to. You're welcome to keep coming. The mere fact that you came today shows that you're ready to begin your own journey of healing. Cthulhu leaves the assembly hall, thoroughly confused. Cthulhu stops by the mall and buys something, fail, fail, fails to fill the void. Cthulhu got a feather pestle. This weapon for Baba gives her bonus chicken power at the start of combat. It is now Christmas Eve the 12th. Alright, what do we got now? Let's see, could get a wand for Manga. Is that an item to use? Huh. Uh, get a brown egg shield wand. Let's see what this clean one is. So, let's get a uh, go to the expedition. In a bar, Cthulhu discovers a lead on a cool expedition. Cthulhu sends Crystal and Baba to go complete it. This kind of reminds me of Fall Fantasy Tactics for some very random reason. Crystal and Baba return. We left Christmas Land and walked to Arkham. I used to get the easy feeling. Is that referencing Fall Fantasy Tactics? It might be. I, I'm trying to remember a game similar to that where you send people on a journey and they have a generic dialogue, sort of, and then it all ties into you accepting uh, finishing the quest. That might be the reference, maybe. Because these guys, the guys who make this game are kind of fans of old school RPGs like Sukoda and Tactics and stuff like that, so I wouldn't be surprised. The colors were so weird. I didn't try to very hard, but I did. As a result, we got it. There was one color that stood really, really stood out. So otherworldly. A treasure I'd never seen before. A clean run. So this jump was a small success. Yeah, that's gotta be Final Fantasy Tactics. You got a clean one. This weapon for Crystal adds a healing effect to her cleanse ability. It's now Christmas Eve the 13th. I ran into an old friend of Granddad, and he thinks he has a lead on another member of the League of Christmas Evil. This is Beck Snickle. Bell Snickle? Yeah, but anyway, uh, he's a. I'm trying to remember his, the history of the Bell Snickle. Uh, he's a type of fairy, or an uh, elf. I'm trying to remember the history of him. Uh, Our lawyers have demanded that we edit the following conversation. Hey, weren't you on a popular TV show? I love popular TV shows, especially when popular TV characters does funny things. Uh, I'm not sure where the, uh, where the, what, are they referencing Supernatural, maybe? I don't get all the jokes in the game, I'll, I'll, I'll admit, so, uh, anyway. But that wasn't actually me, that was a popular actor doing a popular TV character pretending to be me. Hey, did you know that I was on a different popular TV show? It was just a TV playing your other game in the background shot. Super easy to miss. What about me? A popular children's movie totally ripped me off. Our lawyers have okayed the rest of the conversation for public consumption. It's it's so they don't it's so they can make the they're, they're just making jokes of references, but can't don't want to actually make it for either copyright or whatever legal reasons. Spill the beans, Christmas hobo man. Where's the leak hold up? 
I was in the land of sweets, having a nice chat with my friends, the Nutcracker, when an army of mice stormed the place. The Nutcracker fought bravely, but their numbers were too great. He shall never crack nuts again. Oh man, I feel sorry for him. It's been- never, never mind. That's horrible. Clearly the Mouse King is behind us. We must stop him. Interesting side note, the Nutcracker is the only uh, thing I've ever fallen asleep to in the middle of it. Ever. Like, I usually stay up for everything, or if I don't like something, I'll finish off and just remember for later. But for whatever reason, during the middle of the Nutcracker, I fell asleep during the Sugar Plum Fairy, uh, so, uh, the second part of the bit where they, the music kind becomes mellow and calm. I fell asleep during that, although I was like seven at the time, but still. If we must, we must. Although, isn't the rat filled dungeon typically the sewer dungeon? Usually, it's the first dungeon. Sadly, we were unable to find an organic way of including a sewer dungeon or a Christmas themed game. Please understand. Well, that's a sweet. I can't wait. We can turn our adventure into a game. Fight a rat, eat a chunk of uh, candy cake with a battle, drink some hot cocoa, level up, devour a candy bar. That's the spirit. No point in adventuring on an empty stomach. Ho, ho, ho. Bell Snickle has joined your party. I'll do a uh, research Bell Snickle off screen. I remember the gist of his story, but I have to look it up again. Bobby Giga and all these others I remember, you know, but Bell Snickle, uh, for whatever reason, his story escapes me at the moment. The land of sweets really is the best place for a wandering traveler like myself. Stone soup is so much better when the stones are gumdrops. The percent of chocolate concentration in the hills of here actually goes up and down with the passing of the seasons. You haven't lived until you've eaten winter dirt. That's far too dark for me. I much prefer spring dirt. It's a light milky chocolate with just a hint of hazelnut. Let's have a picnic. Not a chance. Candy gives me gas. My dietician has me on a strict diet of tormented souls. Ooh, these are tasty. Here, have a plate to go click. So where is the, so where is the so-called rat king? Mouse king. Those are two different things. That's what I said. Cluck says she smells mice down the pathway. Let's go kill some giant mice for true RPG heroes. All right, so we find ourselves in the land of sweets with our new ally, Bell Snickle. What will Bell Snickle's abilities be? What will the uh, what will the land of sweets have us uh, have us uh, taste? Will we get a cavity in this whole situation? We'll find out next time in the next episode of Cthulhu Saves the uh, Saves Christmas. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.